I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to avoid tolerance when using nootropic supplements. You know what it's like to try a new nootropic, something that you've just discovered. The promises sound too good to be true. And the first time you try this new supplement, you feel amazing. But the next day, or in a week or two, not so much. Of course, you're tempted to throw the bottle out in the trash, because once again it was just too good to be true. The chances are this is your first taste of something, a little thing called tolerance. Tolerance is defined as the diminishing effect of a nootropic supplement following repeated administration at a certain dose. And development of tolerance of certain nootropics can vary from person to person. It could be genetics unique to you, other meds or supplements you're taking, or some other underlying health concern. But tolerance can also be caused by the way that nootropic supplement works in your body and brain. And those reasons can include Certain nootropics bind to their associated receptors which then triggers an enzyme that fires an electrical impulse in that neuron. After repeated activation of the receptor, the enzyme adapts so that the nootropic can no longer cause changes in cell firing. An example is valerian. It contains the compound valerinic acid and valerinol, which binds to GABA-A receptors to provide the anxiolytic effect. Too much valerian, or used too often, may result in less binding to GABA-A receptors or those receptors just stop responding. And you no longer get the anti-anxiety benefit that you did when you first started using this nootropic. And another problem could be fewer receptors for that nootropic to bind with. Too much of a nootropic could damage neuroreceptors and then reduce their number. This is why you often hear that larger doses of something is not a good idea. A classic example of this is Phenibet. This potent anxiolytic takes two to four hours before you feel its effects. The temptation is to take another dose in an hour because the first dose is not working. And it's not a good idea. Phenibet is one of the few nootropics that anyone can develop a tolerance to quickly and why cycling this nootropic is recommended. Tolerance can also develop because metabolism of that nootropic speeds up. This may happen when the liver enzymes involved in metabolizing that supplement become more active. This increased activity means that nootropic is broken down so fast it doesn't have a chance to enter your bloodstream and reach your brain. Now there's a temptation to just take more of something that no longer works as well as it once did when this happens. But it's not a good idea because metabol this metal metabolism process that was just described. And chances are excess dosages of this nootropic can be toxic and cause things like liver failure. So remember, more is not better. One of the more glaring examples of this is Huperzine A, which is often included in daily pre-formulated nootropic stacks, and it, it should not be. Because Huperzine A has at least a 24-hour half-life, which means that it doesn't completely clear from your system for up to 48 hours. This nootropic can increase acetylcholine to toxic levels if used daily. Huperzine A must be cycled and used every second day or even twice a week. Now, as I mentioned earlier, tolerance affects each of us differently. For example, many recommend cycling salbutamine to prevent tolerance. But I've been using this nootropic daily for at least the last 10 years and have never had this problem. Now, many nootropics on the nootropics expert list are not prone to tolerance because your brain needs each of the vitamins and minerals on that list every single day. And nootropics that are used as precursors to acetylcholine or serotonin or dopamine or GABA are also used by our brain every day. The key is to keep these neurotransmitters in balance. 
even if you're raising them to optimize cognition and mood. Amino acids are enzymes that help neuron function, metabolism, integrity, or that fuel ATP are used all day long. So you don't want to cycle things like CoQ10 or PQQ because they are in constant use in your brain. But keep an eye out for nootropics in your stack that bind directly to or activate receptors. Aniracetam, for example, works in part by activating dopamine D2 and D3 receptors. Now, some find that they have better results cycling this nootropic, five days on and two days off. And this is another nootropic that I've been using for over 10 years, and I've found no benefit in cycling, but you might be different. So now you know why some nootropics may work better for you if you cycle them, and why I can't always tell you when asked if something needs to be cycled. Only you can decide what works best for you. I've included cycling recommendations in the dosage notes in each nootropic review on Nootropics Expert when it's called for. But it's up to you to study the mechanism of action on how the nootropic works in your brain and then decide whether to cycle depending on how the nootropic affects you. And always keep in mind that more is not better because too much of anything can cause problems sometimes with severe consequences. So that's my bit on how to avoid tolerance when using nootropics. Remember, only you can decide what works best for you. I've included cycling recommendations in the dosage notes in each nootropic review on Nootropics Expert, but when it's called for. And remember, always, more is not better. Too much of anything can cause problems, sometimes with severe consequences. Now, if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain and get a copy of my book Head First. And if you think you could use some help tweaking your nootropic stack, consider booking a personal consultation with me. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.